Hi! Makeup tip today is another Makeup is Art series look from the book that I showed in a couple of videos ago. Um, this is one of the very 80s looking makeup looks that they did for the book, which I kind of quite like. I don't, I don't, I don't really like red lips though. I, I don't think they suit me at all because of my skin being so pale. So it, it, that looks kind of a little bit weird. But um, yeah, I have. I'm not naked, by the way. When I was watching um, Beth Brutality video the other day, uh, she said it as well. But no, no, I've got top on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this video is going to be one of the like doing a new way of doing my video just to give it a go um, to do like the actual application showing you how I did it like actual filming me of doing it so let me know comment below uh, whether you prefer me doing it that way or just to go back to where I was before but yeah hope you like this look and tutorial next and close up pictures and the original picture thanks Bye. All right. Coming to you, honey, on the east side, running, and I ain't got time to waste. Jumping to the car in the back seat, loving, but you're keeping me on a chase. I've been trying all night long. Now I'm going to take my metallic. Bourgeois blue pencil. Let me put you this after. And I'm going to just draw out the outline for my base. In the edge corner, I am just drawing a straight line upwards like that if you can see it and then straight line outwards from the inner corner as well and then I'm going to draw the outside line and Join it up with the other one. So you get a shape that kind of looks like that. Right, now you've got a shape like that. I'm just going to fill it in with pencil. I'm only going to roughly do it because then I'm going to get a brush and we'll smudge it out together. Now I'm just taking a flat synthetic brush and I'm just going to smudge it all up together so it's a little smoother. And smudging out the edges of the pencil a little bit as well because I don't want it to be too much of a harsh line. Now I'm going to my 120 palette and an eyeshadow brush and I'm taking this metallic blue there and I'm just going to pat it on top of pencil now this brush is a little bit big for my eye personally so I'm just gonna just light um word roughly go over the pencil and then I'll go in with a smaller brush mm -hmm. 
Right, now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just a pressed powder. And just brush this underneath my eyebrow. I'm doing this so then when I go in with my little brush again and blend the edges of this blue, it will blend out a lot easier and look a lot better. Now I haven't um, put the concealer on my eye yet because I have a lot of fallout under there. So I'm going to quickly brush it away. Perhaps if I had concealer under there already it would have just... Oh my eyeball! Fantastic. <laughs> it would have... Um, it would just stick to the concealer and just smudge absolutely everywhere. So don't bother at this point. And I'm going to get rid of some of that and clean up those edges as well. So I've got like a proper line. Like that. Now I'm going to take this glitter eyeliner. If I had some loose blue glitter I would have used that but I don't so this is what I used. This is Collection 2000 Glitter Gel Eyeliner and I'm just going to brush this all over my lid. Right, I'm just going to wait for that to dry. This is this is just caveman style. This is <laughs> using my hand to dry it. <laughs> this is very 80s looking. This makeup, and I do really like it actually, especially with my the top one I've got on today. So it looks really nice. Alright, when the liner is dry, this isn't, I'm not sure if this is in the picture because it's not, you can't really get that close in the picture, but I'm just going to line my top lash line with some liquid eyeliner just to make them look a little bit thicker. Only a very, very thin line though. Now I'm just using a Correction 2000 eyeliner, you can use whatever eyeliner you want obviously. Then I'm going to take my Rumor Max Bold Curves Mascara. And coat my top lashes. Then I'm going to take my concealer. Do not think oh, dropping everything. Now it's time to put the concealer on because then we're not going to be putting any more eyeshadow on, so it's not going to fall out everywhere. Use whatever concealer you want. And I'm just going to brush it right across that corner as well, across that line, just to sharpen it up that tiny bit more. And across the inner corner as well. Like 
know I'm gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes. Now I'm going to take just a black eyeliner and line my upper waterline. Alright, so now for my eyebrows, I'm taking just if I could find it, I lost it. I'm just going to take a sandy brown colour eyebrow pencil, mainly because I think she's got really dark hair in this picture. But I've got blonde hair, obviously, so I'm just going to match the colour to my hair instead of copying it completely. And I'm just rush, roughly brushing that through there because my eyebrow colour isn't particularly that dark anyway. Now I'm going to apply my foundation and I am going to, oh wait no, got ahead of myself there for a second, I'm going to put just some concealer just around my nose because I have quite red areas around my nose and I'm using the 24 hour colour stay concealer. Now I only put my concealer on first because this shade is just a tiny, a tiny, tiny bit too dark for my skin colour. And that is mainly because, annoyingly, Maybelline, you don't sell the lighter uh, concealer colours in any shops. Thanks for that. Even though you do have lighter colours, you won't sell them in shops. Which I think is a bit annoying because for people with darker skin tones, like a lot darker than because I think, what did they sell? They only sold that one, number two, which is light beige, and then medium, something like that. And they were the only two. So if you're a black person, you can't use that unless you pay silly prices online for it. But anyway, right now, <laughs> I'm going to use my Maybelline 24 Hour Color Stay Foundation. I love this foundation a lot. This is good for... Um, people with oily skin, like really oily skin which I have, because it's, it goes on and it just, it dries completely. It dries completely to your skin. It's really good at covering all of your pores as well. Because my because of having oily skin, I have a lot of trouble with um, uh, my pores blocking up and so on, which is extremely annoying. But this can like completely cover them. So I'm very impressed, especially for the price as well. Because I think this was only uh, ten pounds, something like that. Whereas the, I've I tried the Revlon 
colour stay one for oily skin and it just did horrible, horrible, horrible stuff. I don't know if it was just because I was using properly, using it, not using it properly or what, but it just, it did not work for me whatsoever. It's like if I had any um, dry skin anywhere, it would just completely, it would like you just draw a bright red circle around it. It's just horrible. I think the only downside to this foundation, I think, as you can probably see from this, is that you need quite a lot, especially if you're using a brush, which I do because then it goes on a little bit easier and smoother, in my opinion. Right, I'm going to leave that a minute. <coughs> brush back. Now I'm going to take a red lipstick and this is a woman lipstick I bought quite a while ago. Uh. Oh my word, it's like avalanche. In my room at the moment. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take Rimmel's Signature Red Lipstick and a lip pencil. Cut pencil. Lip brush, sorry. Lip brush. I usually always use lip brushes for um putting lipstick on just because I'm absolutely rubbish at it, especially red. And I'm just going to brush this onto her. <coughs> right now I'm going to take my Max Factor Cream Puff Powder and a little contour brush and just wipe the contour on my face. Then I'm going to take just a light pink brush, that sh the one I always use, always, always. I'll probably use a bit more of an orangey one uh, when it's more in the summertime and when I get a bit more of a tan, but at the moment I am deadly white. <laughs> and just brush this. Lightly onto my cheeks. Now, and lastly, I am just going to take some. Powder and just dust it all over my face. I'm only supposed to put um, pressed powder on first because you're supposed to put powder on the powder, you're not supposed to put powder onto creams. But that with that foundation, it dries like a powder, so I don't, there's no need. And for me to just put powder on it's just like an extra because of and there we go that's the finished look hope you like it pictures and all that stuff as well same as the beginning <laughs> thanks bye is it true what they say you are